hello everyone how to solve uh, this nice uh, algebra problem so here we have m into m into m minus m times of m equals 18 so we solve this problem for the values of m so now here uh, first you see that this m is multiplied by three times so that we write it as uh, m cubed minus this m is multiplied by two times so we write it as m square and this is equals to 18 okay so further uh, here uh, we need to focus uh, in the right hand side uh, and in the right hand side we have 18 so we write it as m cubed minus m square equals to we write this 18 as 27 minus 9 okay we know that 27 minus 9 becomes here 18 and after this step here we need uh, to write uh, these 27 and 9 into the prime factor form okay uh, so we write it as m cube minus m square equals uh, we know that the prime factors of 27 are 3 cubed minus the prime factors of 9 is 3 square uh, so here uh, after this step we move both of these terms from right hand side to the left hand side so it will be written as m cube minus m square minus because this is plus 3 cubed when we move in the left hand side it will becomes minus 3 cube and this is minus 3 square when we move in the left hand side it will becomes plus 3 square and this whole equals to 0 so further uh, now here we need to make the pair of uh, cubic term with the cubic term and we make the pair of square term with square term so that here first we have the cubic terms are m cubed minus 3 cubed and after that uh, the square terms are so this is the square term and this is the square term so we have these two square terms so now here first we take common negative sign from these two square terms and the remaining values are m square minus 3 square and this is equals to 0 okay so after this step here we need a uh, two nice formulas the one is cubic formula you know about this formula if we have a cube minus b cube so it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so here we need this nice cubic formula uh, in the first term and in the second term uh, here we need the nice square formula it is written as a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a square uh, uh, b times of a plus b okay a minus b times of a plus b so here uh, we apply the second formula on the second term okay so here first we need to apply the cubic formula on the first term so that our first term uh, will be written as in this form this is m cubed minus 3 cube it means that our a is m and our b is 3 so we substitute the value of a and b in this nice formula so that our above equation is written as in this form a minus b so here our a is m so we imply this step here okay so here our a is m minus b is 3 into a square a is m square plus a b so again our a is m and b is 3 plus b square is 3 square and minus we apply the uh, the second formula on this term so that our this term will be uh, written as in this form m minus 3 times of m plus 3 and this whole equation equals to 0 okay so now here uh, we need uh, to focus on these two terms and you see here we have m minus 3 be the common factor so that here we need to take common m minus 3 and the remaining terms are here you get m square plus 3m and plus 3 square equals to 9 so here we get minus into m plus 3 so now we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms so it will be written as 
माइनस एम माइनस थ्री इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो हेयर फर्दर वी नीड मोर सिंप्लीफिकेशन सो दैट हेयर वी राइट इट एज एम माइनस थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ एम स्क्र सो यू हेयर यू हैव थ्री एम माइनस एम एंड थ्री एम माइनस एम इक्वल्स टू टू एम एंड नाइन माइनस थ्री इक्वल्स टू प्लस सिक्स and this whole equals to zero. So further uh, we divide this equation into the two cases so that our first case is we just take m minus थ्री equals to जीरो and the second case is we take m square plus टू m plus सिक्स equals to जीरो So here we have these two cases. Uh, so now Uh, in the first case, we move this minus three to the right hand side so that you get the value of m is equals to three. And similarly, here you have uh, the quadratic equation. And now here we need to solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. So that here first we write the coefficients of this quadratic equation, and its coefficients are a equals to one. b equals to two and c is equals to six. So we have these three uh, coefficients of the above equation. And now here our quadratic formula is stated as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus four times of a c is divided by two times of a. So this is the our quadratic formula. And now here we need to substitute the values of a, b, and c in this quadratic formula. So we have this is minus b. The value of b is minus two plus minus square root of b square. So b is two square minus four times of a is one, and c is six, and it is divided by two times of a. So here our a is also equals to one. So now we need more simplifications, and uh, we write it as minus two plus minus square root of here. You have two square equals to four minus four times of six becomes twenty four, and it is divided by two. So this is the value of m. And now further in the next step, we have m is equals to minus two plus minus. Four minus twenty-four becomes here a minus twenty, and it is divided by two. So that after this step here, we need more simplifications, and uh, we uh, write these terms as minus two plus minus. Here we separate the square root of twenty and a minus sign. So we write it as square root of twenty into square root of minus one divided by two. So that uh, uh, here now we focus on this twenty and we write it as minus two plus minus. Uh, we write this twenty as four times of five. We know that four times of five becomes twenty, and the square root of minus one equals to iota, and it is divided by two. So this is the value of m, and now here we need to uh, separate the square root sign on both of these terms, and it will becomes minus two plus minus. Here we have the square root of four equals to two into square root of five into iota, and it is divided by two. And now here we need to break this fraction. So when you break this fraction, it will becomes minus two over two plus minus two into square root of five into iota, and it is divided by two. So here you see that this two is cancelled out by this two, and this two is cancelled out by this two, and we get the remaining terms are minus one plus minus square root of five into iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. So uh, finally we have uh, the three roots of the given equation are these are the two root and the third root is m equals to three. So this is the final answer of this question. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.